Okay, so this tutorial is called UI Alert View. We're going to create a UI Alert View with buttons on it. So an Alert View is a pop-up window that's going to show up on top of the main window. And then in there we're going to have to change, well, we're basically that last tutorial that we did with the little UI images changing the background color of the view, we're going to change the background color of the view again. Um, so we're going to have a class that allows us to present a simple interface to alert the user that something has happened and then allow the, uh, the user to respond. So it allows us to respond in different ways. And uh, if we want more uh, default cancel button, alert button, we can adopt the UI alert view delegate protocol. Um, so we're going to open up a single view application. And don't worry, we're going to use the storyboard and the auto reference counting. And uh, well, here, let's just start in with the project. So go ahead and open up Xcode. Create a new single view application. Click on next. And this one is going to call, I'm going to call this one my alert. My alert. Well, here, I'll call it alert view. I don't think I have this one actually as a solution file. So maybe I'll create it this time. So I called it alert view. And here it is. So go ahead and click on the storyboard file to open it up. And in the storyboard file, I believe we're going to have to change the background color, but let's just take a look here. Oops, that's the wrong one. That's drag drop. That's the one we just did. Here we go. We're going to add a button to the user interface that's going to bring up an alert view when we press it. And then we're going to open up the library. We're going to drag a UI button to the, uh, to the view, change the title of the button to change color. And if desired, change the view's background color as well. Uh, so the finished view looks like this. All right, so we're going to put a button on here. It's going to be called change color. So let's see. Button, UI button. And I'm going to stick it right here in the middle. I'm going to put here change color. So I'm going to leave it on white. Which will be different today. Leave my view on white. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to control drag the touch down or touch up inside or one of those actions on that IB button there. And uh, we're going to call it button touch. And so this is one of the older tutorials, so it has a little bit of a different style to it. It's also on a PDF, a P PPT file, so it's kind of weird. Uh, so go ahead and click on the, uh, the tuxedo icon, change it over to viewcontroller.h. How many times have we wired a button in this class? Do it again. So at least you should be able to, at the end of this course, be able to wire a button, I would hope. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do a touchdown event. I'd have to wonder if you can't do it. <laughs> BTN touch, touch or touched or some, call it something. Give it a give it a name. Hopefully, you'll be able to come up with your own names now too. Uh, you know, today I've been leaving it on ID. I'm just gonna leave it on ID. No, I'm feeling different today. I'm just put on ID. There we go. Halfway in the middle of the course, I usually switch and I start forget about the UI button. Just put leave it on ID. It's okay. All right. So now here's the code that we're going to put in into the UI button. And so the entire application is just this little UI button, believe it or not. So the UI button here is going to be a button touch that we created. So we're going to create an UI alert view that's going to be called color alert. And in here, we're going to allocate a new UI alert view. And we're going to put a title. It's going to be change color. And we're going to put a message in the box. It says choose a color. And we're going to have a cancel button, none. Which means no counts. We're just gonna have it OK. And then we're gonna have color titles of red, yellow, and blue. And then we're gonna have color alert show. So show the button. So I'm just gonna take the code here. Oops, oh I can, that's good. And copy the code in here and put it inside viewcontroller.m inside my button that I created over here. So my button's gonna put up the Ooh, I have the, some dots here. Let's get rid of these dots here. Mm, I think those dots were probably, uh, what do they call those things, uh, bullet points or something. So let's see. Mm -hmm.
or their line returns, one or the other. Um, let's see. Got some special characters. Looks like I kind of here. Okay, there we go. Got it successfully cleaned up. You're going to have to clean it up a little bit, otherwise, you're probably going to get a message of some sort um, from the formatting. So, and I don't think I posted this one actually as a separate. Uh, I don't think I posted it as a separate uh, solution file. Oh, what did I do? Let me just edit under typing here. I did, I did something here. Yeah, there we go. I think I accidentally took out the closing. Oh, there we go. Anyway, I'll just leave this alone. Looks pretty good. I didn't like those three dots. I took the three dots out. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's see what we got next. So the title will appear on the top of the UI alert view. We'll probably just run it and see what happens. Uh, and next, the buttons will uh, be displayed with the three other button titles. And let's just, you know what, let's just run the sucker. Instead of just talking about it, let's just run it. <laughs> see what happens when we run it. We haven't put any actions on the buttons yet. We just, so I'm going to click on here. It says change color, and I got this UI alert view. And now I have red, yellow, blue, and none. On the change color is the title and choose a color. It's the message that we put in the box. So you could put a longer one. So if I go red, nothing happens. We haven't put that functionality in there yet. But it says other button titles. Then we have one on the bottom. The cancel button is none. So if I press none, nothing's going to happen. The UI alert view will just go away. So now you know how to put some buttons up on a screen. So it says select an item. And you just click on one. Well, okay, so what happens when you click on one? Well, we have to put that code in. So let's see. So what do we got here? Um, method uh, change button. Oh, I already did that already. Test the app. The app works. I kind of moved ahead a little bit. So now we have this um, modify the view controller.m file. And so we're going to put in here another method, alert view, void alert view, that's going to be uh, clicked button at index. Uh, let me just take a quick look here. Um, mm -hmm. Just quick, let me refresh my memory here a little bit. Run the app now, we see alert view. I'm going to leave that. Okay, good. Uh, in order to handle the event, so it must implement one of the delegate methods. So, okay, good. So we're implementing the delegate method the delegate methods here. So we have to add this whole method, the void alert view, and copy. I'm going to stick it underneath, actually. So we're implementing, uh, well, actually overriding behavior, but we're implementing the method functionality for the clicked button at index. So I'm going to have to get rid of all of these little dots here. So I don't know if this would have been easier just to type, but we'll just do it this way. So case one, it's red. And then we have self target is equal to color red. And then we're going to break it. And then case two is uh, there's a dot right before the comment by the way as well I'm taking out and uh, a line return in there Break. case three and unfortunately Probably would have been faster just to type this ourselves, but uh, <clears throat> see what happens at the end here. A simple case switch for the buttons, and uh, let's just make sure I called the. Okay, so what's up here? It says, uh, treating Unicode characters a white space. Yeah, there's a character in here I didn't like. Let's just get rid of the comment. 
Oh, it seriously doesn't like a Unicode character in here. Apparently, when I pasted this in, we have some characters in here that are treating like a white space, which is a good thing. Up, oh, up, oh, yeah, you're right. Look at that. Let me just get rid of. There we go. No, no. I'm just going to move the problem down one. There's a white space. There's a character in there, a hidden character when I cut and pasted it in there. Unfortunately, for some reason, you can't cut and paste into uh, Xcode easily. I guess if I just removed. Here, let's just remove it. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to assume we've got some hidden characters in here, but I'm going to assume that they're going to be okay. And I'm just going to leave it, actually. I'm able to get rid of some of them, it looks like, but let's go back and finish this up real quick. This is the last part of it, actually. So when we uh, look at it before, uh, the button goes away. In order to make it handle, we put this code in. So first parameter of the method will be the alert view and the button that's touched. So the button index will be zero if the cancel button is pressed. And it increments the values, starting from one with the other buttons in the array. So in this case, we're changing the color of the view controller. So what we should have happen when we do this is that we have an index. If we take a look at the code again here. Um, case zero, case one is going to be the first one here. So it's going to be red, yellow. So zero is the first one we did. And this is the cancel button. And then this is button one, this is button two, this is button three, which is where we get one, two, and three. And all we're doing here is changing the background color. So self.view.background color is UI color, color blue, color yellow, and color red. So if we run it, hopefully those special characters aren't going to get in our, get in our way. Uh, let's see. Change color, and we go red. We go change color, and we go yellow. Change color, blue. <laughs> so change color, none. No, we didn't change color. So you can see how you might be able to easily come up. And this is like, what, a couple lines of code. Not too much at all, actually. Um, well, all the special characters went away. That's good. <laughs> Maybe you just saved them as white space for me. Uh, but you can probably possibly see the endless opportunity to, uh, what is one? This is blue. Here, I'll put this in here. Now, now my messages come back. Endless possibilities of being able to... Uh, create a UI view with menu options. So people do this for preferences, they do it for options, they do it for navigational techniques. And it's a simple UI view. So you see this is the one that just shows the UI view. And then this is the one that, and then what we're doing is we're overriding the alert view, uh, the, cl the clicked button at index. So it's a matter of just, there's nothing to import, there's nothing to include, there's nothing in the build phases or anything. We're just simply overriding the alert view behavior to have some custom navigation. So you might want to consider this for some purpose that you might have in the app. It might be to choose a picture or something. Who knows? All right. Uh, so we will stop this particular uh, video. I believe I'm done. Let me just make sure. There's a last little summary here that the UI view is a model view meaning that it blocks the touch events from the bubble from its parents so it's modal excuse me so it rides on top of the underlining view and it doesn't hang the ui thread it makes it very control easy for simple choices like just seen a few minutes ago okay dokie so that was the uh, last one for today actually that was the ui view so I will leave you with that. Now you're armed and dangerous and you're able to create UI views. Most people do it for yes or no confirmations. You know, like, um, do you want to set it? Oh, let's see. Yes. No. <laughs> you know? It's like anytime you have, like, it's a little pop-up window. It's a, a little dialog box, actually. If you, from other programming techniques, it's called a dialog box or a box, message box of some sort. So, okay. That's, uh...